once again, what does the computer have to say about these new developments? Well, that was a minor number of updates, I guess, because they're all contained in one location and one topic. Yep. A hollowed out chamber inside Ash Twin. The energy cables from the surface are plugged into a protective casing at the center of the planet. There are eight monoliths with Namai masks attached. Three of the masks are actively receiving data from the probe tracking module Giant Steep and Timber Hearth, respectively. The Ash Twin project was designed to use the energy from a supernova triggered by the Sun Station to send probe data to the orbital probe cannon 22 minutes into the past. The Sun Station did not work, although the Ash Twin project was theoretically sound, the Demai were unable to power it. There is an advanced warp core inside the protective casing at the center of the planet. Removing the core will disable the Ash Twin project. Where does it go? Do I know where the core goes yet? I probably still reset if I go into it. But if I rip it out, I don't know what the fuck will happen. That's scary. I don't know. I still have an, I still have a, a sunken city to explore. Maybe that'll be one of my things to look into in the future. I'm a little torn, because sure, on some level I probably just wasted that 22 minute interval. And if I want to do that again, I'll have to wait until the very end of the cycle again for it to open. But that's fine. That's generally fine. I can sit here and listen to a podcast for 20 minutes if I need to. I just don't want to make a mistake. Or accidentally restart the entire... Oh god. I especially don't want to accidentally, uh, uh... Oh god, don't go into space. I don't want to accidentally, uh... End the game with questions unanswered in areas that are unexplored. And considering that is the thing that's causing the looping in the first place, that's the closest you get to being worried that you might accidentally end the game, is when you're like, hey, this is how you turn off the thing that makes you respawn 22 minutes every, every 22 minutes. Sounds like a good plan. I would like to know more if I can. I'm also still trying to figure out how to get inside of the briar. I was hoping that somebody around here might have an answer. And I still have more city to explore, so maybe they still do. Oopsie. We'll have to see. I'm- I'm just- I'm hoping somebody eventually made contact with the inside of Briar. And that if they did... They, uh... You know, like... Know what path I should take? Because the question is, how do I get to Feldspar? And I'm not sure how to get to Feldspar without dying. And, or back out, or to any other location on that planet, if there are more, which there might be. That's our current problem. Alright, the good news is I don't have to wait for the sand this time, because now I'm, ex now I'm just going to explore the city. I'm just going to go and turn on all those lights and explore from the bottom floor to the top floor, because that's the order in which... I'm allowed to do. And we thankfully know that the lights turn on. So that's good too. And hopefully there's very little to do on Briar. Hopefully you just... I, I, would, I would love it if all you have to do is find Feldspar and then you're done. Because, uh... I don't want to keep going in there over and over again. It's... the place is awful and I don't want to go there. Should we build the Sun Station project to power the Ash Twin project? Are there ways of generating that level of power? We've done this before, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it goes up against everything we've ever held ourselves to. And we'll destroy ourselves and everything else. Yeah, the, the, this is their... We read this before. This was them debating the morality of the entire idea. Yep. Which is, it is horrifying and dangerous, and it's literally my current problem. Assuming this isn't a natural, uh, supernova. Which it could be, maybe, I don't know. Stuff behaves in strange ways physically a lot in this game, so it's hard to ha be definite about what the real laws of physics are here. This is where I'm not going this time. Oh, 
Ooh. You weren't power down last time, so I must have just done that. <clears throat> this tower looks very empty. So I don't think there's actually anything in there. That's good. All this empty space buys me more time to explore the higher areas while the sand slowly fills in all this empty area that I don't have to explore. If I'm right about that, that's good. First side path. Yeah. I'm running into that issue where I turn faster left than right. So that it, I encountered that more during Kingdom Come Deliverance. I guess it is like a issue with this controller. Somebody lived here. Livy. We're meeting in the fossil fish cave to play the game. If you're too big to climb through the anglerfish uh, overlook hole. Ah, so the children could just climb straight in, but older people have to take a different path. And that's this is going to be the instructions. I guess the fact that it's tiny swirls with more more girth to their size and jaggedy lines means this is children's writing. I don't know. You have to go the long way, but it isn't far. Go to Stepping Stone Cave, then up into the Fossil Fish Cave. I tried to get to the Fossil Fish through the Stepping Stone Cave, but I couldn't find the entrance. Where is it? Remember to feed the Fossil Fish first. If you go to the Angler Fish... Oh, look... Yeah... Who cares? Oops. Target... Uh, Taggett can't fit through the Angler Fish Overlook Hole anymore because he grew bigger. He's taller than Levy now. Who cares? It looks still tallest. In there. The children would just crawl in, but everybody else had to take the stepping stone cave. And what I need to do is, in order to find how to get to it, I need to shoot a probe at the fish, which means I need to go back to the door I was just at. Are we playing at the fossil fish game tonight? I fed the fossil fish a new lantern. If you go to the stepping stone cave, the entrance to the fossil fish cave is easy to see now. Gratitude, Solanum. Whoa, Solanum was young back then. It's good you're small enough to climb in through the hole at the Anglerfish Overlook. I'm still small enough. You won't be for long. Mom and Dad are tall. You and I will be tall too. So that's where they went for fun at the time. Another broken door. There's a lot of paths around here. Where's that go? Okay, so now I'm back at the lights. There's a good chance to go back up here real quick. Yep, because I'm right here. There we go. So the scout will help me out when I go there. The stepping stone caves. What else do we have around here? That's just right where I was. Lots of living quarters, not a lot of details. A distressing sinking everywhere. Reminds me of the inevitable feeling- Ah, oh, there's a way- there's gotta be a way in there. Reminds me of the inevitable feelings you got of like, all the water pouring in everywhere in Rapture, in Bioshock. And just like the feeling of how doomed the location had to be, based on how much water was always coming in. How do I get in there? Oh, 
There must be a different way in. Perhaps. Ah. These are the holes that stuff's coming through. This is how I get back up. So if I go to the right location, I can fall in a hole and I'll be good. If I go the wrong way, I could potentially land on, like, spikes or something. Ah. That's exactly what happened. God damn it. I need a way of telling which one is which. Got it. And there's the exit. Alright, what's going on here? Who's been computing shuttle trajectories to the sun station? Don't worry, the station is in such a low uh, stellar orbit. We've constructed a different, safer way to travel from Ash Twin. Idaya, that would be Pi. I told her we wouldn't be traveling there by shuttle and that the sun station doesn't even have a landing pad, but she said she knew. Pi. It's a purely theoretical exercise on my part, Yarrow, who doesn't love computing a good low stellar orbit shuttle tra trajectory. Adaya. Pi, I look forward to working with you, but I've also, I'm also relieved I will be, I, it will be easy to return to Ash Twin regularly. So that's in reference to what I was aware of, which is that there's got to be a way to teleport there because there's not they didn't they didn't make a landing pad. So that's what's in those structures. Yep. Oh, sorry, me. Yeah, don't go that way. <laughs> bad, bad. Right, I can't recall this. Damn it. Okay, so let's do the shit. Oh, hey. Solanum. I don't know why everyone says the eye is important. They say it brought us up to the solar system, but is that good? Dad told me a lot of Namai died when our clan came here. Right, isn't Solanum the guy that we eventually heard the perspective of because he was get reaching the quantum moon and he was leaving? But he was also the person who doubted that the eye was a good thing. We're seeing him throughout his entire lifetime. What if the eye wanted that to happen? What if the eye isn't something good? But this is where he as a child thought the eye was evil, whereas now he might think it's more, like, indifferent. Yeah, there's a temple up here. I can't go there until I have my light back, though. Shit! Sand is getting here. Shit. Is this the stepping stone area? I gotta go. I'm not even sure if this is the right place. Shit. The sign wasn't there. And there it is. God, look how fucking big this thing is. I hate it. <laughs> Livy, whoever was it, whoever was it when we ended last time, or whoever was it, as in like in children's games, you're it, uh, when we ended last time is the anglerfish. 
Rule change, the angler fish now has to wear a blindfold and does and do not peek. What if they fall in the hole and die? Why are you changing it? It's too hard if you can't see anything. Aunt Pai says real anglerfish are blind, so you have to wear a blindfold. The rule stands. Rule update. It's okay for younger kids to don't wear the blindfold when they're at, when they're at it. When they're it. The rest of us will still wear it for scientific accuracy and to make the game even more, more even. The rest of us, the little fish, line up against one wall. When the anglerfish says so, the little fish sneak across to their side. If the anglerfish catches you, you're eaten. Last little fish to be caught is the new anglerfish. The old anglerfish gives the new anglerfish the blindfold and becomes a little fish. The old anglerfish gives the new anglerfish the blindfold. So they sneak back and forth across this room, avoiding them. That, that does sound like fun. That sounds like the kind of game that you would do. The location's iffy. <laughs> uh, I think they're trying to convey to you that anglerfish are blind, and maybe you can use that against them when you're trying to sneak past them, but... I would... They chased me. Maybe they could hear my ship, but how do I navigate without making any noise? Doesn't feel like an option. And that's the only way out. You're, you're, you're filling up with sand. Hello. Surface access? If only all the all still worked, huh? Melloray, anglerfish study. The long growth protruding from its head is bioluminescent. Perhaps it's it used this growth to, to attract prey. A lure? Yes. Coleus, an update. Melloray. While I was here making sketches of the anglerfish, I observed the children I saw earlier playing here again. They've added a rule to their game to, that incorporates our research. It's wonderful. <laughs> Melloray. I'm entirely uh, delighted. It's never too early to appreciate biology. Visually, the specimen appears to be of the sp same species as the anglerfish and dark bramble. We don't believe it originated from this planet. Coleus. This anglerfish's digestive tract suggests death by starvation. So it either got lost and starved here, or they were running out of food on the bramble, and it left to find food here, and didn't. And then grew too big and got stuck in its own place, although that would, that would require it to eat. So I guess maybe it did find- maybe it moved here because it did find food, but then it ran out of food and, and starved to death because it couldn't leave the room because it grew so big from successfully eating that it starved. I'm here again. I mean, I don't know what else what I don't know what else to do right now. So, well, if I'm gonna continue, I need fuel. But I'm not sure if I'll have more time. I don't know. We'll see. Now, my children used to play a game here. Yep, the blindfold and so on. The blindfold rule was added because real anglerfish are blind. The adult Nomai were delighted to see the children incorporate their research into game's rules. Isn't that fun? And hey, we're not done with this on the city. Sun Station. There's a way to safely travel to Sun Station for Mash Twin. As we figured. They could make the symbol for there being new information a little more prominent, perhaps. Take some, take some looking. It's a small white icon. Okay. I was just, ref I was just refilling. We'll see if I can make it to the area full of ghost powder <laughs> or ghost gas stuff, or if the entire place is just filled in at this point. That bodes poorly. Oh yeah. Nope. I have to go down to even continue. All right. Let's save us all some time and restart. I could wait for the death of the universe and everything, but that's time-consuming, so... Floop. 
So my next goal is to check out the area full of ghost gas. I don't know. Listen, there's a lot of names in this game. I can't keep them all straight all the time. Sometimes I remember what the Nomai are called, <laughs> and sometimes I don't. It's crazy. You never know what you're going to get from me. Alright, back to it. There's the quantum moon. You know, one of these days I'm going to figure out what the fuck you want from me. I still partly think I'm right. I mean, I, I still partly think I might already know some of it. Like something about... Oh god, please don't crash. You can't feel how fast you're going because you're in space, so you're, everything's so far away that you don't have perspective, but like... Then a moment later you're like, oh god, I'm moving at a third of a thousand kilometers per second. Miles per- I mean meters per second. A third of a kilometer per second, and I'm like, that's- that's too fast as it turns out. Oh god, don't crash. Alright, where's your crash pod? God, this game blows No Man's Sky out of the water. <laughs> like, this is what people wanted, more or less, was this kind of experience. Sure, it's not an ever-expansive, multi-like, infinite exp uh, adventure, but this is what an exploration-based game is supposed to feel like. I've been making constant discoveries every episode for, like, what? Aren't we? We're probably around 25 episodes in or something by now? Like, that's insane. And it's not even padding things out with, like, boss fights and shit, because this isn't a combat-oriented game. Sure, it's going- it takes longer than it would normally because of the looping thing, but that's more m marginal. And one appeal of that is that it encourages you to better learn your paths and surroundings and routes and everything because uh, you want to optimize your routes. And so, being- having the game slap your progress out of your hand and be like, no, find it again, ensures that you actually are memorizing and figuring out the environment and all of its quirks which is neat but also I, admit, I don't necessarily always do that like I do still think there might be a shortcut into the city that I maybe found before but I don't remember it but this path is pretty short so I'm not overly concerned about that once I have this path memorized I don't really have to deal with uh, carefully finding my way through I mean, I don't have, once, once I have it memorized, I don't have to, like, read the instructions and stuff like that, which makes the path way faster. At least from the lights on, which I don't think I saw before until the recent episode where I found them. Gotcha. Alright, scout launcher, photo mode. Let's get to the tower, because it's... Stepping stone, we've done that. Anglerfish overlook. High energy lab. Yeah, the Eye Shrine is the only thing we haven't done yet, technically. That's named there, at least. Ugh, fucking... Okay, we're good. Whew. There you are. Yep, that's your limit. You can't go in there. But I can just climb up here. I've been in here before? Oh yeah, that's the Z fighting location. Maybe I think I've already explored this place. Yep. Yeah, this is this is the the floor is lava building. Where the entire bottom floor is full of death. Okay. We'll see if there's anything else to do here. Uh, when I last looked at my map, I should have double-checked to see whether or not the game said there was more to do in this area. 
That would have answered the question somewhat. There's still a way up here. The gravity cannon. That's where I went to retrieve the thing. Yeah, it might have been a mistake to come here. I might have already found every- yep, yeah, this going up here leads you to nowhere. Alright, well they gave me this eye temple. I might as well risk my life giving it a good look. Cause uh... This is the last couple of minutes of an episode basically. Maybe there's an- yeah, maybe you have the option to carefully platform across it. To get something. Uh, so many people died in here. Where have I ended up? Is this, is this new? Be welcomed to, in this place. The shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us to their, this star system. The signal from the eye. We observed the eye's signal in our travels and followed it here to find its source. What we know is this. The source of the signal, which we have chosen to call the eye of the universe, is older than the universe itself. The rest we have yet to learn. Enter and open the mind to its possibilities. Whew. Are we safe in here? It seems like it. Okay, cool. Let's launch this for light then. There we go. I love that they gave me a little light probe thing. That's a cool feature. If the eye called to us, why won't it reveal itself? Why is it so difficult to locate it? Did something happen to it? Did the signal stop? Does the eye no longer desire to be found? Perhaps this isn't the eye's choice. The eye may not be able to communicate with us more than it already has. I like these, by the way. The anonymous... It's, like it's like an anonymous message board, basically, where people... Specific, like, because they're always signed off with names, it's interesting to specifically see there's dedicated walls where nobody uses their names, and that's like the goal. Did the eye deliberately call out to us by sending the signal? Or did we hear the signal by coincidence? We could be seeing meaning where there is none. Suppose the signal was produced incidentally. Does that mean the eye is any less important though? Perhaps the eye wanted to be found. Could it be sentient? Maybe it chose us. Does the eye desire something from us? Could it need us in some way? Maybe it doesn't even have... Maybe it doesn't even have to be us. That's a... That comes with meaning. Because the... Because it could be us instead. Because me. Different people. Is the eye natural or artificial? Maybe someone built it. The eye is older than the universe itself. How could someone, something exist before its creator? It could be naturally occurring, though this doesn't answer how the eye could be as old as it is. Yep. <laughs> Came up here perfectly when what you see outside is the sun. There's some timing. I'm... I can't really tell for sure if they necessarily worshipped it so much as heavily hypothesize about it. Because with how scientific they are, the, the, them, the presence of their religion is a bit of a surprise. But it's hard to tell if this is... What? What? You can break their cairns and then they float back into place? What in the world? That is strange. 
Yeah, but it could be not so much their religion as their core mission. And this is all so not so much for worship purposes, but hypothesizing and being a forum, essentially. And also a monument to their to their works because they're, you know, they have to believe their work is important. Otherwise, what are they doing? Ah. Oh, wait, no, it's a one-way passage. I was like, oh, God, I could have just gone this way the whole time. But no, the sand would push you down. That's just an, that's just an exit. It is really funny, though, to think that that's right there. All right. That may be it. That may be the end of this area and its secrets. It was quicker to explore than, than Brittle was, but Brittle was uh, Brittle was hard to explore for obvious reasons. Uh, I do still think Brittle might be my favorite planet. That was really cool. Oh, I still haven't re-explored this, have I? Have I? This led somewhere. I think I've been here already. Oh, this was the secret shortcut. That's that's the secret shortcut I forgot about. There we go. Mystery solved, I suppose. Just in time to not matter anymore. Eh, the way in's not very long. It's fine. Yeah, that's hard to remember. So much like... In that one ice cap... In the uh, on brittle, I think it was. There's just a hole next to a landmark, and if you just jump in that hole, you you shortcut into there way faster. But you have to remember that where the really specific spot was, and I and yeah, in both cases, I forgot where the hole was immediately after. I'm like, oh cool, a shortcut, and then immediately forgot where the shortcut was and had to relearn it a second time. It's just I learned I relearned it faster in brittle, whereas I couldn't even remember how I found it from the inside in this place's case. All right. Oh, all right. Let's loop again.